So in this question, we want to get the smallest product possible when we multiply 20 numbers times one another, and we get to choose the numbers. Because we want to make the product as small as possible, we need to think really hard about which numbers we choose. We can choose anything from the group all the way from negative 10 to positive 10. So there's 21 integers from which, we can, from which we can choose. Now if we want to minimize the value of the product, meaning make it as small as possible, we'll definitely want to have an odd number of negatives so that we end up to the left of zero. So that's kind of point number one. Now we want it to land as far away from zero on the left side of zero because we want to make it as small as possible. And the way to do that is to take numbers that are as far away from zero as possible. So we would just take a bunch of negative tens and positive tens uh, to get the smallest possible number and just make sure that we have an odd number of negative tens. So it could be 19 negative tens and one positive 10, or it could be really any other combination as long as you have an odd number of negative tens and an odd number of positive tens because there's a total of 20. Well, that will give us the smallest possible product. So if we're multiplying 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 20 times, that would be 10 to the power of 20, but don't forget the negative sign in front of it because we wanted to minimize it, and that's the answer. Now you'll notice that answer choices A and E are very similar, and they both kind of seem to say the thing that we're looking for. But when the negative sign is inside the parentheses with an even exponent, that negative sign disappears because you're just multiplying a negative number times itself an even number of times and you end up with something positive. So it's not A, it's E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.